a lot of people stumbled across here. People come here to get lost. Sometimes when people leave wherever they're from. I'm originally from New York. Boulder. Rural Des Moines, Iowa. It's less about what they lose, more about what they find. It's kind of just the way Crested Butte rolls, I guess. We find things here. Nowhere in this mountain oasis is this more apparent. And I want to get you some messages. And more literal than here. 6.33 here at KBUT Crested Butte. Where the news of the day. High temperature should be about 40. Is balanced by songs spun by dozens of volunteer DJs. Tedeschi Trucks, new album from them. People aren't going to listen to the information you're bringing them unless you entertain them along the way. But no segment may be as entertaining We've got Lost on Elk Avenue. As the station's analog version of a Craigslist ad. It's unbelievable what people put on the Lost and Found. KBT's Lost and Found is a daily service that helps reunite lost items in the Gunnison Valley to their rightful owners. Someone found a Pyrex container full of salad. For all of KBUT's 30 years on the air. Baby blanket. They've been um, reuniting the community. I think hearing aid. With all of their lost items. Birth control pills. And my husband said, boy, she's not going to have fun tonight. No, I shouldn't say. Write it down on a piece of paper. A dark brown wallet. And no matter what it is, you kind of listen to they'll to, read it. Well, what, what are people losing? And there have been turtles on the lost and found. And it was moving very slowly. And I'm like, is this a turtle in my yard? We've had, you know, dentures. You couldn't miss the teeth. I mean, they were, they were teeth. Sometimes the owners come forward. No one ever claimed the turtle. Sometimes it's finders keepers, even with dentures. No one is supposed to know that, but yes. You would think in a town so small. The town of Crest Butte is basically 10 by 10 blocks. People wouldn't lose so much when they get here. Right, Marshall? The Bermuda Triangle exists on those three blocks, and that's probably where all, most of the majority of stuff gets lost. The what triangle? Uh, yeah, the Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle. There's three main bars in town. Achievers, the Eldo, and the talk of the town. On a Friday and Saturday night, once you get in, it's hard to get out. How bad could a tiny piece of a tiny town be? I found underwear. I don't understand how you go home without your underwear, but... Though perhaps the most inexplicable tale of all... Someone lost a chinchilla. It was reported alive but wounded. She found the chinchilla, and then... And so she brought it to the vet. So we anesthetized him to splint his leg. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. It's like a hedgehog or something, I think. So we're airing it for like a week or whatever, lost chinchilla. So then she comes back about a week later and she said, oh, I got to take that off. It's not a chinchilla. We found out that he was a woodland pack rat. So it was a wild rodent. <laughs> We've got partly cloudy skies expected for the evening. It's KBUT's way of helping Crested Butte. It's that simple. It works. Deal with what's lost. It, it truly works. So the community can focus on what it finds here every day. Tranquility. With photojournalist Ann Herbst. Community. Jonathan Gonzalez. 250 PBRs. Nine News.